Wow! Welcome again on our today's edition and today we want just to teach our farmers the best way uh, possible on how to do or rather on how to maintain ratoon can. I mean it's called ratoon can management coupled with our perfect and quality nutrition from markers of Chapameli Yara Yara. Now in this case our farm many of the times my farmers have been doing some uh, wrong approach in terms of uh, in terms of ratoon management or post harvest handling practices in sugarcane farms. Now in this case we are talking of ratoon management. For all ratoon 1, ratoon 2, ratoon 3 this is the way or this is the perfect uh, approach in how it is supposed to be done. After harvesting your crop then after the cane has been transported you as a farmer within that very very week before the cane starts shooting you need to move in do what we call trash lining do stock shaving stock shaving in this case i mean trying to cut uh, uh the, the stocks that maybe were done high cutting just to reduce them to one inch from the base of the soil this will enable more shoots to come up uh, 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 later on and then this will enable the stronger foundation from the ground now after trash lining and stock shaving as a farmer the best thing you need to do again is to do what we call interrow cultivation in this case you can see the interrow cultivation was done and this is in fact the second one now interrow cultivation uh, whose job uh, whose mainly function is just to ensure that we cut the old roots just to to motivate the new roots to come up now after after having done with the interro cultivation and remember to do the interro cultivation right on time so you do the proper timing so that you don't interfere with the crop once it has already uh, done the sprouting now coupled with the perfect nutrition from yara this is where now we bring in the Yaramila Java. Yaramila Java is an NPK product, and this is a product that we do apply on this. The, 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 we do apply on this can at the age of uh, uh, one to two to two months. Now at this at, at this stage, the crop requires to rejuvenate in terms of the new roots, in terms of everything, so that it can sprout the way this one sprouted uh, uh, this way. Now if we do this way then it means that the new roots are going to form if the new roots are going if the new roots have been formed then it means there will be proper uptake of nutrients then there will be proper uptake of water which will uh, which will which will make the crop grow very fast the way it is doing now the rate of application is also very much important because there are farmers who are compromising on the quantity and the quality of uh, and the quantity of the fertilizer being used in an acre. Now for an acre we advise that you or you put 100 kgs, 100 kgs of, uh, of fertilizer that is Yaramila Java at that time. Then there is a product called Yaravita Crop Boost. This is a foliar feed enriched with, with phosphorus whose job actually is just to ensure that phosphorus is like a fuel in a car. So if you deny it then automatically the car is going to maybe uh, go off or rather it's going to be to go on a go slow then what is needed that uh, uh, phosphorus if you add it here you do a foliar application of phosphorus just to ensure that you provide enough p and enough zinc just to work around on the root rooting system or the root, root development of this crop you can tank mix uh, yaravita crop boost and yara power boost yara, yara power boost has also nitrogen uh, boron and some other micronutrients that are very much important we are totally trying to revolve around micronutrients because most of the time can requires a lot of micronutrients like magnesium zinc and many others just to ensure that uh, the crop is perfectly well and has been given enough uh, foundation and enough nutrients to ensure that the growth and everything is not tempered with now after application of yaravita crop boost which actually is done uh, on spraying on the leaves uh, we mix a liter and a liter of power boost on uh, in a hundred liters of water and then we spray an acre uh, we move on at the age of four to five at the age of four to five remember as the era we want to train new farmers that we always uh, train farmers revolving around four hours of fertilizer use this is the right source right placement right timing and uh, right application application methods now uh, uh, with the right timing, that is this is the reason as to why I'm saying now this crop at the age of four to five months will be being dosed again with the with the Aravera Amidas. The Aravera Amidas is a, a, a nitrogenous fertilizer with 40% nitrogen and 6% sulfur, and this is going to work around in terms of growth 
trying to ensure that the, 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 the internal elongation is very perfect and this is what uh, it's going to uh, to result into more package of the sucrose and everything and therefore resulting to a farmer is getting 45 uh, tons and above in an acre of sugarcane and if we do so then it means that the farmer is going to pocket uh, to pocket uh, a good money in in his and we will encourage him uh, to continue with the farming uh, uh, in a right way. Also remember that something again we are also trying to showcase our farmers that if you do management of ratoons in a proper way then it is going to cut cost of developing new crop uh, developing new crop that is so expensive so it is always good to work around uh, uh, ratoon management so as just to uh, to, uh, to ensure that, uh, that, that that the cost of development is not uh, uh, as higher as that so if we work around that program and fully follow be followed to the latter then we are talking of 45 tons and above in ken uh, sugarcane farming sector both in western and nyanza and everywhere perfect journey with us journey with us so that you get to benefit more on sugarcane farming.